in the midst of all of this nonsense, it's so nice, it is so nice to see YouTube's biggest creator, PewDiePie, have his head screwed on straight. And you know what? A while back, I kind of stopped watching PewDiePie's content, so I unsubscribed from him. But you know what? He deserves one of these. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, all of this drama going on, and try to turn this mess into a message. Because what good is watching all of this stuff go down if we're not trying to apply it to our own lives to improve ourselves? So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, like right after I uploaded my last bit video about like, Jeffree Star separating himself from James Charles, which is massively like hypocritical to me and not being a very good mentor. Our man PewDiePie just uploaded a video in defense of James Charles and kind of, you know, talking a little bad about Tati Westbrook. And like, listen, full disclaimer before I get into this, kind of like what PewDiePie said, I'm not excusing James Charles behavior. I'm not excusing that behavior at all all now my next video is i think these allegations are getting blown way out of proportion and it's a it's a little bit troubling but that's the next video but anyways let's talk about why pewdiepie is defending james charles in this situation and i'm so glad i'm so glad that pewdiepie like is using his platform to talk about this because during this whole situation it's like every other creator not every other creator but a large amount of creators are forgetting like what's happened in the YouTube community in the past. Like PewDiePie has had so many labels thrown on him and so many people try to cancel him. And one of the reasons, one of the, the reasons that he's been able to overcome that is because A, he's the biggest creator on the platform and B, he's been on the platform for so, so, so long. James Charles, even though he's had a massive amount of success, it's, very, it's been a very short period of time in the grand scheme of things. Like PewDiePie has been around for a very long time, so he was able to weather the storm. And I'm glad to see PewDiePie having his back. Like, do you guys understand? Do you guys understand that people have label, labeled PewDiePie as a racist? They've labeled him as somebody as part of the alt-right because of like jokes he made and things like that. Like, he has had this happen to him, all right? Hell, even what happened in New Zealand, that tragedy, people were associating him with that. Like, PewDiePie is no stranger to having like just what seems, what can seem like the entire world against him. So I'm so glad that he's coming out and defending James Charles because basically what he's saying is like, like PewDiePie was looking at this, he's like, in the grand scheme of things and the history of like YouTube uh, controversies and what's happened, like, is this really, is this really what's that bad? And he points out that a lot of people are just like kind of having fun with it and being childish and the, hey, I'm gonna unsubscribe. That's cool, but like ruining James Charles' name, especially on allegations, like I think it's a little bit ridiculous with Austin Jones just getting 10 years 10 years in prison for what that monster was doing to kids that people are demonizing James Charles. Again, I do not excuse his behavior and I'll talk about it more in another video, but like, it is absolutely baffling. And something that PewDiePie was talking about, which um, is, is something that's been addressed, but Tati kind of used like it as a cop out is that she didn't handle this privately. Like she did not handle this privately at all. And it's, it's become a way, and I don't, like, I'll, I'll be honest, I do not think that Tati Westbrook did this, like, super intentionally. I don't think that she was like, hey, I'm a good person, I'm a role model, I'm trustworthy, I do this. It's just in the context of her video, I feel like it was important that she had to say that. So I don't know if I necessarily agree with PewDiePie on that front, but I do agree with the fact that this should have all be handled in private, right? And... The way Tati kind of saw it was she already did that impulsive uh, Instagram story, which she recognized was impulsive and she shouldn't have done. But like PewDiePie brought up something that I hadn't even thought of. Like she was saying like the reason that she didn't talk to James in private was because he had already talked to drama channels, 
but she was doing the same thing. And I don't think, I don't think that's a good gauge on whether or not you should talk to somebody in private about this. And then Felix brought this up because this has happened to him. Like, think about it. Think about this real quick. When, when PewDiePie was being called a racist for accidentally dropping an in bomb while he was gaming, like, Jacksepticeye came out. Jacksepticeye came out and did a video about him. And that probably felt like just such a massive knife in the back of PewDiePie because PewDiePie was one of the people who, who first helped Jacksepticeye get his get his start, right? Now, I don't think like, you know, uh, PewDiePie is the whole reason that Jacksepticeye blew up, but like, imagine how PewDiePie felt in that situation. And he didn't, he didn't handle it and let the court of public uh, opinion decide how that was gonna play out. He didn't even really um, um, address it to my knowledge. But then, then you also had last year when H3H3, was calling out PewDiePie, which a lot of people thought was kind of, kind of crappy because, you know, PewDiePie like has been friends with H3H3 and then they called him hypocritical and everything. But like, I was looking at this and one of the reasons I resubscribed to PewDiePie is because like, I don't know, like this is some good role modeling behavior. This is very good. Like, that's why, that's why I made my last video about Jeffree Star just kind of turning his back on James Charles, right? Like, what if everybody, what if everybody just never forgave Jeffree Star for his past? What if everybody didn't do that? And, and here's the thing. The argument that keeps coming up, the argument that keeps coming up is the predatory behavior, okay? And this is an issue that I've had and I have no problem saying this, but like a lot of people were equating anything that happened during uh, uh, the Harvey Weinstein era, everybody was equating it with that. And like Harvey Weinstein was an absolute monster, still is an absolute monster. But anything that was like a lesser version of that, they were automatically getting compared with Harvey Weinstein. And you got like, this is why black and white thinking is such a mother effort. Like to just categorize everybody in the same situations is absolutely ridiculous. And that's what, that's what PewDiePie was speaking out against. Like, like what did James Charles do? What did James Charles do? Like he promoted a competitor. This, this kind of opened the door for Tati Westbrook to talk about um, James Charles's other behaviors. But, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what, what James Charles was doing is nowhere near what we've seen with like, you know, people like Austin Jones or even, even uh, uh, we don't have like, you know, criminal charges against Pro Jared. Like, like I, I just don't see how we can put him in that same box. But I'm glad too, because PewDiePie vocalizing this and showing another perspective, it's made more creators come out and just kind of talk about how this is, kind of unfair. Like, this is kind of unfair what's happening to James Charles. Like, James Charles definitely needs to take some licks. Like, I've been sitting here and thinking about like, okay, during this time, you know, should I be making these videos and everything like that, da 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 da, because it, it, it's building up, uh, you know, on the James Charles content. But one of the reasons, because I'm, I'm always trying to check my motivation, one of the reasons is I want to offer a different perspective. I want to offer a different perspective because it is so easy it is so easy to hop on the hate train during these situations, right? But another thing is, is like, hey man, like for all creators, for all of us, for anybody in the public eye, like this is what happens. This is what we signed up for. When a controversy strikes, we have signed up to get our, our, our butts whooped by the community and everything like that. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that we have to lose our complete sense of logic. In, in this entire situation. So I'm glad that more creators are opening up and being vocal about this and speaking up about this. I hope, I hope it sways public opinion a little bit more. But again, like in the grand scheme of things, I think this is ridiculous. And something I mentioned on Twitter was this, all right? And maybe it's a little virtue signaling on my part. But we, we blow these things up 
to this huge magnitude, like, like James Charles was just ruining the lives of people. But what if everybody, what if everybody who unsubscribed from James Charles donated a dollar to the Polaris Project or even Rain? And those are two organizations that helps real victims. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if everybody just donated a dollar? But no, so many of us are just gonna sit here and we're just gonna rant and rave about James Charles like he's this, this monster. You know what I mean? And a lot of it is just ridiculous because not many people out there are doing good in the world. So take a second and think about where your priorities are when you're getting upset and outraged about these things. Like, how much, how much time do we spend in our own communities trying to make this world a better place, but we're so quickly to just judge and demonize other people. Again, like I said, I'm going to make a follow-up video because I don't think, I don't think the, the way people are painting James Charles is doing any favors to the LGBT community or just, I, I don't know, I think it's gotten out of control and I wanna speak up about it, but that's for another video, all right? But anyways, good on you, PewDiePie. Do your thing, boo. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I'm making a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing, get your name on the credits, get involved in our monthly Q&A, some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.